Hello, this is a short video designed to introduce you to the policies capability in Power Manager. Policies are intended to make it easy to manage how you're notified when things go wrong in your data center. To get going with policies, we go up to the Notifications button on the toolbar and click on Setup. You turn notifications on or off with this button. Notifications, when turned on, are provided in two ways, through email distribution lists and through the my.packetpower.com portal. There are five levels of notification, and most customers use to correspond to different levels of incident severity. You can indicate the distribution list that you want for each level of incident. If no distribution list is entered, then the incident level will be sent to the portal only and not out via email. Once you have notification set up the way that you want, we can move on to defining the policies themselves. To do that, we click on the Define Policy button. We're presented with a list of the policies that have been created. Packet Power has defined five of them that we think might be of value to our customers. To create a new policy, we click on the New button, and we're presented with the Policy Definition menu. In this case, we're going to create a policy that notifies us if the temperature anywhere in the data center exceeds 85 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll give it a name of maximum temperature below 85. We'll provide a description along those lines and then we'll, we'll define how we want the policy to be put in place. You can set policies on a number of different attributes on current and power at the device level, on relative humidity and inlet temperature if you're using our environmental monitor product, and then on power and current at the PDU level as well as temperature as read by the Packet Power Smart Power Cables. That's the criteria that we're going to select. In this case, we want it to be less than or equal to 85 degrees. And we choose over here the absolute reading option uh, as opposed to the relative reading option. You would use the relative reading option in a situation like uh, power readings where we know the rated capacity of the power cable and we want to be notified if, uh, say, usage exceeds a certain percentage of that rated capacity. We'll make this a level three notification. And this a timeout option allows you to indicate how long you want to wait before you're notified again if the policy violation persists. So our policy is set up. We click on OK. We can see that it's been added. We click on Done. Now let's look at how you use policies. Policies are managed at the room and cabinet level. To turn a policy on at the room level, you select a data center room, right click to bring up the room properties, and scroll down and you'll see policies. Here's our new maximum temperature below 85 degrees policy, and the default is to turn it off. If we click on that, we can set the policy to on, click on OK, and that policy now applies to every cable within that data center. If we know we have a cabinet that has cables in them that are, say for example, hanging in front of the exhaust vents on some servers, and they will always be reading in excess of 85 degrees, but we don't want to be notified of that condition, then we can exclude those cables or this whole cabinet from the policy. To do so, we right-click on it again to bring up its properties menu, scroll down to the cabinet policies, and see that the default here is for the cabinet to follow the setting on or off that's applied at the room level. In this case, we want to say that for this cabinet, we should always ignore this policy, regardless of whether it's turned on or off at the room level. Power Manager makes it easy to see which policies are in effect where, and where you have exceptions in place by using the tree structure on the left. You can expand the tree for any particular policy to see the rooms in which it is in effect and any cabinet level exceptions. Once you've defined the policies to your satisfaction, remember to go ahead and publish them to make sure that they take full effect. Let's look now at how policy notifications are delivered through the my.packetpower.com portal. Here's the home screen on, on the portal. To access policies, you click on System Status and then Policies. 
This presents you with a list of the policies that you have in effect. Let's quickly review the policies that Packet Power has predefined. The first two are inflow temperature limits, maximum and minimum, according to ASHRAE guidelines. These apply for using the Packet Power environmental monitor. The third deals with maximum circuit load for cabinets that don't have redundant power and will notify you if the load exceeds 80% of the circuit's rating. The fourth is for redundant power cabinets and will notify you if the current exceeds 40% of the circuit's maximum rating. Maximum relative humidity is another ASHRAE guideline and again applies if the environmental monitor is being used. And then finally you see the 85% maximum temperature policy that we created just a little bit ago. In the policy violation area you see the name of the policy, the location of the policy violation, the name of the monitoring device that reported the policy violation, the value of the, uh, uh, the reading of the monitoring device, the policy limit value, the difference to the limit value, and the date and time of the violation, as well as the level of severity that was assigned when the policy was defined. So you can get a very good real-time view of what's going on with policies within your data centers from the my.packetpower.com portal. So that's it for our quick review of policies. We hope you find this to be a useful tool in better managing power and temperature in your data center. Thank you.